We continue uh, to focus uh, on these families, on the, the victims. Uh, as we said uh, yesterday, these are 12 individuals who uh, came to work in the city of Virginia Beach uh, uh, thinking that they would go home in the evening and they didn't return and have left a tremendous void uh, in their families and in our community. I have had the opportunity, along with some other elected officials, to visit our local hospitals. Uh, I'm a doctor. Uh, I served in Desert Storm. I have been in situations such as this, and it was important to me to go to our hospitals and, and thank the doctors, the nurses, and the staff. Uh, and I can let you know I also had the opportunity to speak with some of the families. Uh, they send their thanks uh, for the Hero heroic uh, deeds that were uh, performed yesterday, and I want to assure you that they are all being well cared for uh, in our local hospitals. Uh, I want to also uh, thank the outpouring of support and love uh, that has come not only from Hampton Roads in Virginia, uh, but across this country, and it just is so, so important uh, as we continue uh, in this healing process. So I would ask all of you that uh, are viewing this uh, today uh, to continue to please lift up Virginia Beach, continue to lift up uh, these victims and their families as we continue this healing process, which will go on not for days, but months and years. It's been about 23 hours since this horror was imposed uh, upon the city of Virginia Beach. And let me just say this, we will not be defined by this horror. We will go forward. We are a city of resili resiliency and resolve. The true character of our city is going to rest with our public, our citizens, and our neighbors that we share borders with. There's one thing that is most evident that has come about. We in Virginia Beach are a city of heroes. We have heroes with our military. We have many members of our public that help and save lives. But most of all, let me commend the officers, the people that ran into a building with an active shooter shooting 45 caliber bullets and saved many people. Without doubt, question or reservation, Virginia Beach is a city of heroes. Now, when I say you need to support this very nebulous thing, FBI has, the you know, Federal Bureau of Investigation has taken over the evidence recovery portion of this. Their ERT has responded. They've come as a group of 40 individuals assisting the city of Virginia Beach. Um, it is a time-consuming, meticulous process. They're engaged, and, they're, and then they're called. Do you, do you have any idea we will have members of the Virginia Beach Police Honor Guard and Fire Department Honor Guard teams assigned to the families. We want to make sure that they have liaisons to just about everything that they need at this point. And we want everyone, we want the family members and the friends to know that we are behind them 100%, that this isn't something that's going to happen, and then suddenly we're just going to go back to business. Horrific event. This of, of unbelievable proportions. Uh, working with Virginia Beach Police Department, State Police, and our partners with the FBI, we have identified two weapons used in the shooting yesterday. Uh, both weapons are 45 caliber pistols. Uh, one was purchased in 2016. One was purchased in 2018. Both pistols were purchased by the shooter, and all indications are they were purchased legally. In addition, ATF agents assisted local police with the search warrant at the shooter's residence. Two other firearms were recovered from that location. Uh, one of the two has been identified, and of the one that has been identified, it also was legally purchased by the shooter. At this time, we're also working with our law enforcement partners to uh, look at the ballistics from the weapons uh, discharge and also uh, our ballistic network of NIBIN to see if they correspond with any other shootings. For members of our community, 